This mountain is the quintessential huge ski mountaineering objective. No other place on the planet has this much vertical relief. To make it even more difficult, our plan was to start from the ocean, go to the summit, and ski as far and as much as we can all the way back to the ocean. I thought I said the next time I rode a helicopter, I was gonna go to the top. But right off the beach, we came up to our first obstacle, a huge ice wall. From the photos, it looked like that would be our route, but it was not passable. So we had to find an alternative route. Chose narrow, short, schemo racing skis for their for the light weight. They're not ideal on the down, but to cover the amount of terrain we needed to, they're the right tool for the job. This is morning three, and we're gonna try to get it to 1,700 feet before storms come in. From our first camp, we had 15 days of food and fuel, which was way too much to carry in one load. So we broke it up into two carries over two different days. We had to get up and down the steep slopes before the sun hit it, because as soon as it did, it would warm it up and cause avalanches, and we wanted to get clear of that danger. I'm glad we're off that slope time of day. It's warming up really quick. All right, I think these are ready to haul. Okay. I think you just gotta drag them. I can jostle them with speed thing, but that's ski mountaineering. Technical. First thing out a rope. <laughs> you didn't get a clean shot because we're all like up to each other's business. <laughs> no one's pregnant yet. I think it's funny when yeah, but when Jed touches me, it's like touching a hot flame. He's like, oh, hot. <laughs> so funny. It's tight quarters in here. Morning number five. We have some skinning and walking ahead. Hopefully, all travel we can reverse on skis. This expedition was going so much better than our middle triple peak expedition, which we had just done a month before. The weather on middle triple peak was just heinous for us. And so this bluebird weather was so welcome. The Hayden Shoulder is the coolest place I've ever been. Ocean below, mountain terrain on all sides, glaciers, and here we are in perfect weather. Uh, we are now It was really fun to climb with such an experienced crew because when we got into camp, everyone just took turns doing what needed to be done in order to get ready for the next day. That was so sweet. You expect on Mount St. Elias the horrible wind and snow, but we were here with this gift of beautiful weather with that little hint of dread. When are we going to get the big mountain weather smackdown? Morning of day six, we're moving from 10 to 13.5. Better than wind. 
sunburn or frost burn. <laughs> yeah. Freezer burn. <laughs> or, or horizontal burned out and laying down. Man, it's hard though to sit here at 10 o'clock in the morning on a day like today. Unreal. Only five and a half days ago, we were at sea level. Now we're at 13,500 feet and ready to push it to the summit. There was no wind, the skies were blue, it was relatively warm, but we knew with that sort of aggressive acclimatization, we had to hold off one more day so we would be able to get to the summit and ski back down in style. getting you what's going on everywhere oh. there's like electricity going through my body it's better when i don't have metal on but anything that's like near metal gets all weird what is that could this be causing some sort of weird i have no idea at 16,400 feet we encountered patches of ice underneath the otherwise skiable appearing powder snow on the surface. We made the tough choice to leave our skis at 16.4 and removing the temptation to try and ski back down. It's a serious, serious place. If you hit one of those patches of ice underneath that powder snow, it, that's the end. It's not a risk we're willing to take. So in the end, we didn't ski the upper mountain, but we're totally comfortable with that. It was disappointing for me to have to leave the skis where we left them and not take them to the summit, but you just can't risk a fall there. I mean, it had killed two people before and we weren't gonna be number three, four, and five on that list, so. The summit of St. Elias was truly magical. I just was overwhelmed with the feeling of gratitude that I was lucky enough to stand on top of this mountain in the conditions that we had found it. It's nothing short of amazing to stand on an alpine wilderness summit and look at the ocean. This is why we do what we do. Feelings for that? Yeah. Oh no! On your face! Come on, Jed! Get... Are you okay? The conditions were largely icy. It was rock hard right there, and I lost an edge, spun around, and got it under control. The backpack gets heavier and heavier as you go down. The transitions from down climbing to walking to down climbing again to skiing to walking over rocks to skiing to crevasses to pick up the tent i mean that's just the first two hours of our descent but it's fun there's no better way to travel downhill on the mountain even when it's slow and your pack is huge and the snow is icy a ski turn is a ski turn and a ski turn is magic we decided to ski down unroped because the danger of trying to ski together roped up in those conditions was more of a hazard than to mitigate the crevasses
Jed, what's happening here? We exit. Time to ski the NAR. Backpacks are. The best skiing of the whole trip. At 9,500 feet, we had a snow slope that went from perfect corn skiing to frightening trap crust in about five minutes. A storm came in and trapped us just above the final technical section. We sat in our tent for two days and finally we were just over it and we decided to descend through the whiteout. Milk jug Kular is living up to its name. Can't see anything. We're trying to locate and cross the Bergschund. So it looks like we got a little broken piece here, and then we can traverse that way perhaps, and then there's something bigger below it. There's a hole. We made it through the cracked up milk jug Kular variation. And that it was. Dropping in like a powder gangster. It was so sweet to be back at the ocean after climbing that huge mountain. Uh, finish line! Oh, Peter's up there! Oh, oh, nice work, nice work. Yeah, team. Yay! What are you doing? What'd you do? I had a bird. I feel bad. How many times have you hit birds? A <laughs> pull. Suicide. Four. Oh! It got dead. 